Border crisis, not enough to hold migrants accountable to same COVID-19 rules as Americans, Biden says. And uh, I can call the video version of this. You know what? I haven't been doing it through the show. If you're watching the show, uh, then you know I haven't been doing. I usually do the video. I tell you what the video title is going to be. But I didn't do that this time. But here, I'll do it this time. Biden COVID-19 rules not applicable to non-citizens as border crisis worsens. So this is uh, basically that Joe Biden has been doing his little executive orders and whatnots to demand that Americans follow certain rules and regulations. And he supports the more draconian measures by the more draconian states, which just so happen to be almost always uh, from the DNC, DNC controlled states. Uh, He's pushing that. But at the same hand, he's opening the borders And he's allowing human beings to come into our borders. And this is no fault of human beings. I don't want to target these human beings. And I'm glad they say migrants here. And I approve that. I I do not like the term. I think I've said before, illegal alien. Very demeaning. These human beings are sojourners. And uh, I'm not saying that I, I don't support open borders. But I do support that when we see a sojourner, that we should honor the sojourner. We, especially we Christians, we are grafted into the vine of Israel. So we are Israel. We are Jews in a sense. And, and as such, uh, we are called to remember where we come from. You know, we, we don't have the physical DNA, but we have the ideational DNA of Israel. And I'm not a, a displacement person. I don't, and, you know, the displacement ideology that somehow United States of America is the new Israel or something like that. I'm not, I'm not on that line, but only in the sense of a nation as a people, not as a state that we are we're grafted into that vine and that vine tells us that uh or being grafted into that vine tells us that we should remember where we come from we were sojourners god took us out of egypt and we were sojourners in a land and so we should remember the sojourn so that's very very important for me this is why I, one of the reasons i could not ever support trump's policies regarding rounding up the sojourners that were here and to that end on the other side, I can also stand up and say, yeah, we should not be opening our borders ever. No nation state to just open up their borders and let anyone just run through them. There's all kinds of security risk with that. But if you're in the middle of COVID-19 and you're telling your citizens, your American citizens, that they have to act responsibly and you're, and you're empowering police officers to use lethal force to target human beings for not wearing masks, because whenever a cop shows up, there's a, there's automatically a gun is at play. The only authority that cop ultimately have is the gun in his pocket and the fact that he or she won't be prosecuted by other state actors for using that gun against you as long as they use that gun in them within their, their, their state-defined roles, which is much broader, way, way broader than it is for you and I if, if we have a gun and we use it uh, even in self-defense. So to that end, when cops show up, there's lethality at play. And so they are willing to put human beings under the gun for reasons that have to do with, with meeting in private for, for churches that are, are, are staying open, defying state laws. If you look at what's happening in Canada, it's even worse. And while he's doing that, while he's supporting all these draconian measures, by he, I don't know what's left or not left of Joe Biden. So when I say he, I mean the team that is behind him, uh, that uh, he is going to give migrants a pass so they could just come into this country where if you and I, if we go to certain places... We may face a quarantine just because we traveled in certain states. I don't know if many states, all if states still have that rule or not, but they certainly did at some point. But the migrants, they could just come in. There's no testing of migrants. There's no quarantining of migrants. They're just allowed to come in, and they're, reg- they're, they're releasing migrants all over the place, just letting them loose into the land. So clearly... COVID-19 isn't really a concern for these people. What's really a concern is that COVID-19 gives them an opportunity to control humans. And I and I believe what's going... Well, I won't get into that, but I'll just say briefly, COVID-19, it's a it's legitimate threat to your well-being and safety, just like racism is a legitimate threat to your safety and well-being. But it is not the apocalyptic threat that these people want you to believe it is, just like racism isn't the apocalyptic threat that these people want you to believe. They want you to fear. They want you to hate. 
so that you will surrender your freedoms and your liberties at a time when technology enables the individual and free associations to have power to to determine lives of their own choosing like never before in human history and and there's 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 great technologies out there right now that could enable us to no longer rely on the amazons of the world but they don't, they don't want you to see that they distract you with this hate so here are just a couple headlines here from the blaze biden administration releases more migrants into u.s during surge texas sues biden for exempting border crosses crossers from coronavirus rules this is from uh breitbart joe biden warns july 4th may be canceled if americans don't do what they're told this is from louder with crowder by the way louder i always want to say this whenever i share a louder with crowder link that they are they are to the right what uh politics usa is to the left they're one of the worst offenders of agitprop meant to stoke your fears and hate so that they can make money off of you and they're a horrible drain on 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 society in general politico tells reporters to not call the border situation a crisis this is from legal insurrection dhs whistleblower details grim scene on border says biden pull, pull up policies don't have any sense of realism from fox news but uh, biden administration stops fines for illegal immigrants who fail to leave u.s cancels their debt from daily caller kamala hasn't made it to the border but a noteworthy likeness of her has from red state and finally from fox news biden's catch and release migrants without court dates total more than fifteen thousand two hundred. 